Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. Um, it is a general reading. Um, so, you know, it's not going to resonate with each and every one of you. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon sign or your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. I feel that there was that type of Five of Swords energy that happened between you and this person. Someone here um, is heavily burdened by what it was that caused that Five of Swords energy. Because I have the Ten of Staves here and I also have it down here. And the Ten of Swords reverse. So somebody is unable to release the pain because this is at the root. Seven of Staves reverse. Um, maybe um, someone had walked away heavily burdened by some shocking revelation or event and maybe what's crossing their mind is um, whether or not it could be saved. Um, now we have the card of time here. This card uh, reminds us of the passage of time, the fabric of mortal existence. Everything that comes into existence passes into another form. It is um, ultimately the movement of time that makes the beauty of life so, visit, uh, so vivid, so, so poignant. And so what this card would be telling you is that this moment, the way that you are feeling and these burdens um, this too shall pass, as this will change again and take on another form, you understand. So, the reason you could be in this uh, type of energy uh, is because the Five of Swords is reversed. And so, um, there's confusion about this. I feel that somebody is trying to make up or make amends. But can you forget? Can you forgive? You ultimately have the choice. Can you forgive? You're carrying a lot of burdens. Can you lay these burdens down and start again? There's many, many cups here and you, they all contain something different, but you won't really know what is in the base of the cup. You can only see the top, so you don't really know what is contained within that cup until you actually pick one up and take a drink. What we have here is a separation um, and um, someone here is lying beneath those three swords um, that this has caused. But there's been a change and it is a faded event um, that brings a new beginning from out of the past. But can you restore the trust? Know that the wheel, you have it twice. And both times it is in the upright, indicating that this is change, this movement uh, that is happening. Uh, it, it is in your favor. 
there could there could be with the return uh, of this person of course you will get an apology but there could also be something that is revealed to you that could be uh, something that you previously or was previously unknown to you that could make the difference you have um, wow you have the ace of wands <laughs> clarifying the ace of wands so um, this is a, a new uh, window of opportunity here a new idea and this revelation um, brings or opens this window for healing to rebuild the trust you uh, are here your happiness is at stake here this is on the ten of cups you've been hurt yeah see yeah we have the three of swords here you've been hurt you could be afraid what devil would have been the next card um, you're remembering and you're holding on to those memories look at the two swords you've got tucked under your arm there the three of swords is on this picture um, yeah also the six so um, can you move away from this energy can you forget can you forgive your sword is up so you're very guarded and you need to make a decision here you see you're looking um, here to the future um, it is a card of um, vision choices um, intention a decision It speaks to the desire to make the right decision the chessboard here uh, represents choices making a move making the right move the roses speak to this person's desire to make this move or decision and the lilies would be representing her pure intention now the roses and the lilies are in perfect balance and it equals a balanced decision the right decision I feel that even now as things may be somewhat up in the air for you with regards to your feelings being able to forgive and forget um, I feel that you will make the right decision so what we have here is a new beginning on the two of cups a chance for a healing we have the caduceus here of this connection and this two of swords is a truce so somebody wants a truce here someone is coming to try to find a solution or to offer one even yeah yeah this could happen unexpectedly um, you might resist this uh, it, it's this change that is happening the movement okay um, that is the challenge you're facing okay 
can I forgive? Can I forget? Um, can I trust this person? Can I trust what they're telling me? Can I trust in the offer? Seven of Swords in the reverse here in, um, in the Minkiate is, um, well, I'll read the upright first because this came first and it's like um, uh, once burned, twice shy, okay, because somebody um, has been hurt. So uh, they're very fearful uh, about going through that again. So they're more cautious holding back out of fear. So, but in the reverse, this card could be that uh, somebody thought of throwing caution to the wind. Now, that uh, question of throwing caution to the wind with regards to this offer that has been brought to you, it's what you are... Um, it's what you are reflecting over. Should I put in for effort into this? Um, will this go for the long haul? Will this person stick around? Is this a good plan? One that will succeed if I just, you know, jump in in faith and hope. As you have faith here. You struggle somewhat with this idea of, of throwing caution to the wind. Because you remember you're carrying those swords. Where did I see that card? Uh, here it is. You're carrying those, those swords. So uh, you could be very hesitant to just throw caution to the wind. You have not forgotten the three swords. In fact, if I calculate all of these swords, you do have three. Uh, one up in the air and two uh, tucked under your arm. And we have the three uh, of spades back here equaling the same. So you've, you've not forgotten. And there it is. Three of swords is right on top of it. Yeah. So um, you're wanting to make the right decision, of course. Um, holding back out of fear uh, with regards to this um, commitment, yes, to this new offer. See, we have the apology. Yeah, look at that. Um, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, <laughs> the devil. Okay, uh, so you're afraid of this news. Uh, that is coming uh, or that has come in uh, you know if if you've already received it um, and you're you're looking at this offer um, or at this apology I feel it's an offer for another you know another go as uh, someone trying to make up but it's kind of like you're trapped in your thoughts in the mind as to you know whether they're you know it's going to be equal this time are they really going to put the effort? Do they mean what they say? And so you kind of hold back out of fear. Um, you, it's like you can't get that out of your head, what happened in the past. It's possible uh, that they did cheat on you. I see this, um, uh, this woman. You see the man sneaking out with his slippers and the woman's behind the, the door with her bat ready to swim bottom over the head so she is like um, here we have uh, the emperor on this and he's looking at this scene uh, you know so uh, can I trust this person again because the the card of mistrust is here in the reverse okay um, so in the upright you definitely don't trust in the reverse you're not sure This change is happening in your favor. And I feel that all of these thoughts and fears uh, that you have, this too shall, shall change with time. Mm 
Yes, holding back because uh, you're taking a deeper look uh, at this news that has come towards you. You're not sure if you can rely on this person or not. You had faith in them at one time. You had trust in them at one time, and, and they've broken that trust. But uh, they are coming back sincere this time, okay? Um, here we see that, you know, you've been pricked by the thorns <laughs> um, here. Hmm. And you grieve over that. So, with the warrior here, uh, because of those thorns, um, this is an event that will take some courage. Um, the challenge will be met. So, I feel that you do this. And... Um, If you are pure of heart, uh, victory will be yours. This can also speak to courage from the heart. To, you know, overcome your fears. A happy event is coming with the ring. This can be an engagement, a wedding, a partnership. It can announce all kinds of reunions. But a happy time is shown here in the future with someone. And with the ring, this can most definitely uh, be something that has come back around or someone. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.